Small business owners have also had their share of struggles with the supply chain. KITV4's Jeremy Lee spoke with two business owners who had to get creative to keep customers happy. Whether they're preparing the food you're dining in on mm. or the food that you're taking home, small business restaurants and bakeries have been hit with challenges. There is trouble getting all kinds of ingredients from paper goods to meat to rice to oil. When you go to Sam's Club, there's limits on, on everything. Normally I would have about double this rice. For Craig Katsuyoshi of Helena's Hawaiian Food, it meant a crowded storeroom on the items he can find and waiting for other items that are unavailable. And what happens when you have a shortage scare for your signature dish, pipi kaula? Pipi is the cow and then kaula is the string. And they used to string up the meat, the cowboys, the opaniolas. And so we do it in their, their style of drying the meat and then we cook it. Craig says he's had to look to other suppliers if the usual channels prove unreliable. One meat company, they literally said, we don't have any more short ribs, but the other meat company, they said, we're okay, we can handle you. Susan Fine at the Pu'u'ai Aloha Bakery says for a specialty bakery like hers that offers gluten-free goodies, keto-friendly, and other delicacies, supply chain shortages have kept her on her toes the last eight to 10 months. This past week, the island ran out of brown rice flour. And this is a gluten-free bakery, the only dedicated one on the island, and we need brown rice flour to prepare most of our products. And making fresh bread on the island has sent Susan scrambling for some supplies and looking even as far as the mainland. Our wholesale accounts have, some of them have just disappeared off the face of the earth. You know, the small businesses, they're challenged right now. Other bakeries we spoke to agreed they are having similar issues, especially when it comes to packaging supplies. For instance, the cookie bag we use for our wholesale. I've had six different bags in the last six months because we simply can't get the same bag any longer. Yet both business owners we visited have a similar outlook. We just had to get more creative. I'll adapt. It's Hawaii. We adapt. <laughs> And back here at Helena's Hawaiian Food, the owner Craig says that they'll be closed for the week of Thanksgiving and the Christmas holiday. He says it's a tradition to spend more time with family. So for now, his supply chain woes have subsided. In Kalihi, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.